everyone. Uh, we're going to start working with your student's book, so please I need you to take it. And as you know, we're working on unit number 8. To be exactly, you have to go to this page, page 80. Vamos a comenzar a trabajar con su student's book para ser exactos en la página 80. This is going to be a reading and listening activity. Vamos a trabajar aquí dos skills, ya saben, dos, dos habilidades del de aprendizaje de un idioma. Reading and listening. I'm going to play this reading. Voy a reproducir el, uh, el listening para que puedan llevar a cabo su lectura. Y el día de hoy me, voy, me van a enviar un audio, al igual de, que algunas actividades que hemos estado haciendo anteriormente. Pero para esta actividad no van a leer todo. Únicamente van a elegir tres. ¿Ok? Son científicos, van a elegir tres de ellos nada más. It could be Galileo, Louis Pasteur, Carl Landstein, Francis Crick, Jane Goldwell. ¿Ok? Van a elegir tres de ellos y de, eh, son de quienes van a grabar su audio y a enviarme esta primera actividad. Como segundo punto, it says, Look at the photos. What, what things can you see in each other? You have to answer this question. Van a contestar esta pregunta en su cuaderno. Mira las fotos y qué cosas puedes ver entre cada una de ellas. Es decir, en qué son parecidas. In each one. Then you have to read, read listen to the article about five scientists. Number the photos, one to five. Aquí tenemos que, bueno, enumerar. Obviamente todo está... Aquí tenemos las letras, pero tenemos que enumerar referente a los científicos de los que nos hablen. ¿Ok? If, it, if this talk about... If this text talks about letter C, you have to write number one here. Es decir, ¿qué cosa nos describe cada una? A lo mejor no conocemos la cara de, de los científicos. Y pues se vale. Sin embargo, si sí, vamos a ver la descripción de cada, de cada párrafo y con ello vamos a llegar a la conclusión sobre qué científico me está hablando el texto. So, tenemos dos actividades aquí. The first one, you have to send to me the audio. Tienen que enviarme el audio. Y la segunda, pues es enumerar del 1 al 5 los científicos. Unit 8, page 80. Culture, exercise 2. Great scientists. 1. Galileo, Italy, 1564 to 1642. Galileo, his full name was Galileo Galilei, is sometimes called the father of modern science. He was a scientist, mathematician and astronomer someone who looks at the stars and planets. When he was alive, telescopes were still quite basic, and he made many improvements to them. His best-known achievement was to show that the Earth moves around the Sun, and not the Sun around the Earth, although he was not the first man to have the idea. 2. Louis Pasteur France, 1822 to 1895. Louis Pasteur was one of the people who started the area of science that we now call microbiology. He did many things during his life, but he is remembered mostly because of the work that he did with milk. When milk is about two days old, it starts to get bacteria, very small things that carry disease, and this makes it dangerous to drink. People can get diseases. Pasteur developed a way to prevent this happening. The process is called pasteurization. 3. Karl Landsteiner Austria, 1868-1943 Landsteiner worked in Vienna on many scientific things. Together with a man called Erwin Popper, he helped to identify the virus that causes a disease called polio. But even more importantly, in 1901, he discovered the three main blood groups, A, B and O, and showed that it is possible to transfer blood 
from one person to another person. This led to the first ever blood transfusion in 1907 in New York. 4. Francis Crick, Britain, 1916 to 2004, and James Watson, USA, born 1928. In 1953, in Cambridge, UK, Crick and Watson told the world that they had found the secret of life. The secret is the structure of DNA, the material that makes genes, the things we get from our parents that control how we grow. Their discovery meant that we now know much, much more about the human body, and with that knowledge, there have been enormous improvements in medicine and medical research, as well as in historical research and solving crimes. 5. Jane Goodall, Britain, born 1934. Jane Goodall is a scientist who has studied primates, especially chimpanzees, her whole life. She has studied their family groups, their use of tools, and their emotions. Her work has made it clear that chimpanzees and other primates, gorillas for example, are not as different from people as we used to think. Goodall has shown the world that we need to treat the animals around us with respect and protect them. In this part, we're going to continue with past continuous tense. As you know, we have affirmative, negative, and interrogative form. In the first example, we have subject plus was verb plus verb in ing form, as you see in gerund, in form of gerundio. And the first example says, she was cooking all the morning. Ella estaba cocinando toda la mañana. Estuvo cocinando toda la mañana. In negative, we have subject plus was were. Ya saben que was were es dependiendo de la persona de la que estemos hablando. Plus not, plus verb in ing, lo mismo que arriba. Y el ejemplo queda, she was not sleeping when he came home. Ella no estaba durmiendo cuando él llegó a casa. What about in interrogative form? Was were, primero nuestro auxiliar de pregunta. Plus subject. Plus verb in ing. And at the end we have question mark. Was she sleeping when he came home? Ella estaba durmiendo cuando él llegó a casa. Y bueno, aquí tenemos dos usos y ejemplos. Usage. To describe parallel actions. While I was washing the dishes, I heard a loud noise. Mientras estaba lavando los trastes, escuché un ruido fuerte. To describe what someone was doing at a particular point in time. I was working in the garden all the day yesterday. Estaba trabajando o estuve trabajando en el jardín todo el día de ayer. To express interrupt action in the bus. I was driving to work when I crashed my car. Estaba manejando el trabajo, hacia el trabajo, cuando choqué el carro. And finally, to describe repetition and irritation, he was always complaining in class. Ella siempre estaba quejando en clase. So, this is a review. This is also a review. Eso también es un repaso. Evidentemente nos va a ayudar para nuestros proyectos de evaluación. Share with you now this small chart about past continuous. As you can see here, you have some examples about affirmative, negative, and interrogative. Es la misma oración, solo que está en sus tres formas para que puedan ver la diferencia. Afirmativo, negativo, e interrogativo. I was playing. Yo estaba jugando. I wasn't playing. Yo no estaba jugando. Was I playing? Estaba jugando. Y tenemos exactamente el, el mismo contexto en todas las demás. Solo que estamos utilizando todos los subject pronoun, es decir, todos nuestros sujetos. I, you, he, she, at, we, they. Ya saben que el you, pues es tú y ustedes, por eso se repite. Y pues nos marca aquí específicamente cuando utilizamos were, cuando utilizamos was. Y evidentemente sus formas de negación, weren't, 
wasn't y el auxiliar de pregunta que cambia al inicio de la oración uh, were you playing was he playing was she playing was that playing were we playing were you playing were they playing y pues las negativas he wasn't playing she wasn't playing there wasn't playing y nuevamente las afirmativas he was playing she was playing it was playing ya sabemos que nuestro verbo pues va en ing form y pues sabemos nuestras contractions nuevamente was not es utilizado como wasn't were not como weren't y en las respuestas pues obviamente son respuestas cortas en este caso puede ser yes I was no I wasn't yes you were no you weren't Aquí está un poquito más pues, específico y práctico debido a que es la misma oración con todos los sujetos y en las tres formas.